Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone. As the regular season is officially complete, and now we are about to step in the, the NBA, NBA playoffs. playoffs on 2K Sports. It's next after this. <laughs> All right, it's time for the last part of game two. It's Raptors and Celtics. Now we're bringing back Silver Spoon for the second time here of game two. This time, we're about to be doing for another one to make the matchup come again. Of course, another way that's coming in for the better timing. Another one that's going to be very, that's very simple, but quite easy than Elder's been. I'm pretty sure there might be another way to get another attention on the players that gets things a lot much better than they have. Fred Van Vliet, Gary Trent, Jr., Ogunanobi, Scotty Barnes, and Pascal Siakam are the starting lineups for the Raptors. And on the other side is Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Al Horford, and Robert Williams. Let's catch you down at the TD Garden Arena to start the second game. It's going to be a very, very breathtaking here in the second game. But let's get going. I'm pretty sure if I can't remember the name, but that's all I can definitely hear about that one. It's time out for the latest broadcast here. I bet this will be another one to get this right by it, but I think Ali LaForce will be yelling for the sideline here. Jason Tatum already an all-star, but he won't rest until he's a superstar. He said, quote, nobody puts higher expectations on me than myself. When I have big games, I try not to get too excited. Because the guys I look up to, they do it often. I want to get to the point where when I do it, it's kind of like another night. Right? Thank you, Allie. It's a lot of enforcement. And for this lineup, it's about to be curving things on the board as this one comes down in pressure. Key matchup is Jason Tatum against Alt Ananobi. This is a lot of lineups here, what I can call for. From Uduku and Nick Nurse. They're both head coaches definitely turning out to be just one in particular at the same time. And between USA and Canada, it may be very tough to go the honor with the pick them pick with each player at the same time. But now, it might be often. This could be a bleed green, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's a very, very interesting color. Christmas color in, in between the in between the range. What a play for the first star deal of Robert Williams. Turn out to be just nice than ever before. Now, Gary Strength Jr. covered here with the screen on Pascal Siakam. He goes right to Jalen Brown with the cover of screen. Now he goes right to Trent Jr. Two pointer reaches, and this one goes right in. Trent Jr. has his first bucket in there, and this one will be picking up for the second game. This second game is not always that Trent crew with the tricky setups, but all it takes there is a share. Wow, 
Jalen Brown, he is like a slam dunker. He's on swoop. There he goes. Van Bleet trying to work her way around, beating Parker Smart, and a three-pointer connects. They have the lead up by one. Fred Van Bleet has to be careful with Evelyn because of that play is not going to carry that well. Brown hits the three, and it goes back the other way. Van Bleet against Smart. This one now pushes up the pressure. 3.30 left, taken away by Robert Williams. Williams fights against Brown. Over to Smart. Now he right goes back to Brown. He goes in, fades. Trying to work with the offensive with the breaking down. And then Pascal Siakam makes a new rebound. They're trying not to waste too many much time here on offense because if this turns out to be a three second violation call, then that's going to be a huge problem here for the Boston Celtics to be causing a turnover. Tato in the corner. Passes off to Brown. Back to Tato, back to Smart. Over Trent Jr. Got it in. And Smart is smart with a smart drive. Smart drive, smart move, nice play. It's a lot that long, and you can go nothing. Every after all. Wow, Van Bleed. Wow, he got small muscled out there. He just got to have to be careful with that, Clay. And, and one thing in most in mind that you need to try to pay attention to the ball. If you're not going to make it succeed, then you're not going to get there, there better. Robert Williams connecting a two-pointer, and it's now 11 7 C of the game. And it's Jalen Brown with the assist. Jalen Brown, of course, he was only the man himself going to step into the pro. But I think there might be a number changing if it gets there right around him. What a play here for Robert Williams on a driving block. That brings just like a big arm. Boom. McKay Lucas checked in for Trent Jr. And for Boston Celtics, Robert Williams and Smart are checked out. Feist and White are checked in. Drive has gone in for Fred Van Bleet. Boston lead by two. Now it goes right to Al Horford. Rolls off to Brown. Horford for three. Good! Outside the range is connected. It's now a 14-9 game. Al Horford's got his first three-pointer for the game, and he is looking for another one. Oh, Siakam got trams up here, and it's Van Vliet with the assist. Van Vliet's got, got a good eye contact out there. Now he finds Vice. Right to White, back to Horford. In a roundabout. Right around Bowers is no good. Van Vliet in the corner, screen on Siakam. Nice start. And it gets a connection up on number two. It's now 14-13 game. Here's White. Passes off to Horford. Horford right back to White. Back to Horford. Back to White. In a, in a drive range, finds Feist. Makes a shot, and it's White with the assist. Went with a good drive look, got a good offensive here. And with all that look, it pressions me hard. Wow, Moore's gotten a great use of it. And that turned to be a slam dunk. Now Brown passes off to White. Goes right to Horford. Off an overhead pass to Vice. With the feet, no good. Barnes has the ball. Toronto in a transition, going back the other way. Van Bleek, right on attacking. Finds Pascal Siakam for three. No good. And this will end the first quarter, 16 to 15. Not bad. Not bad at all. I really think there might be another way to get around it. And the first quarter is come to a close. It's done. Second quarter is coming up after this. 
first quarter has come to a complete, but now we're ready for the second quarter to get started right in Boston. The day is not always our way to make the save, but for a sport, one of the reasons why what is going to be happening here is that the players that have are all surrounded with a bunch of players that are being reduced and being and being uh, increased by the players that are looking for another ball in, in transmotion. With all that playing, it's not going to be that easy. But how are you going white? Back to play. Screen puts it up here for for I don't forget what this name. Perch, sorry. Perch misses the free throw with the shot. Vice finds Williams. Now he goes right to Pritchard. Pritchard in a move motion. Finding Feist, over again, making a good bucket here for Feist. It's four points. It's 18-15. Want to play on a run for Feist? It's a lot that hard to run. Great D going up here for Williams, and this one will be back the other way. Williams is not that bad, if all that took him from the only lane, and not even quite surprised how this all this all turned out. Sue B, I'm definitely not even an amazing man who can play here on defense. Pritchard making a drive, and this one is up and away. Number two pointer is caught in for Boston so far. It's now 20 to 15 lead. Flynn inside goes right in there and make another driving motion. Pritchard back over the vice. Screen coming in for Williams. And it's the nine. Back to Williams. Over Boucher. And it's good over the two up. It's Pritchard with the assist. Great plane drive is all that is all better, but that's a great help you with the communication here if they can't even make the screen on attack. And that will be very hard to get their out of the way. Oh, Chua goes in there around the paint, and he dunks it across to stop the ball. This pressure is making us alive here, going back again and again. Not fell thinking. Pritchard making the three, and this will be 25 to 19. Under, sorry, under 240 left here to go. It's now a 25, 20, 19 run. In and out. Going Kent making the uh, play here for Toronto. Feist with the ball. Back to White. Looking over is Feist. And a great D is on Birch. That was very hard. It was very tricky setup and not just anybody who really wants to go for it. Achua back to Flynn. Right to Ananobi. Back to Flynn. Inside. To Feist! Denies the shot! And White coming in. You bet. It's Jalen Brown with the assist. And a great attack motion down here on offense. This is an amazing play that they had. We're under two minutes, and it's a timeout call by Toronto. It's 27-19 lead. Nick Nurse talking it over here just a little bit. And they might need to find another way to get right around us. I'm pretty happy, though. It's all what it takes, and for all the plays you really like to have in here, can be a lot much better here too. They are doing a lot of work out there. Press it well. New changes are being released here for the, for the Raptors and for the Celtics. Coming in as Barnes, back to Frank Jr. White on the screen. Holding the man up him. Great D on contact. Screen on Young. And this one is going heavy traffic. Boom, boom. But it's Barnes with the bucket. And a great D out there. White is keeping it positive here alive. And he has gotten much better here to go with another look though. I like his run. Even performance out there is just nice and secure. Fade, back to Warper. And foul is 
called by Trent Thaddeus Young. That will be a minute and nine to go here. And first team foul in Toronto. Al Hoover will head to the free throw line to shoot two for, for a two chance shot. They are just going right inside and they're trying to work their way around a bit, keeping eyes open on it. They're going to need to try to kind of find another way to get right in it. The first free throw is good for Horford. Al Horford has already been playing here with our Atlanta Hawks, then for the Boston Celtics, and then his next career wants to step things up to the Philadelphia 76ers, but his season has already been turned out short. And then after that, he decided to do the OKC Funders, but now he gets returned here. The second free throw for Horford can't connect, and it's now 28-21 scoring run. My goodness, that number one block by Orford. Wow, look who's back. They already have gotten the better players. Those plays are turning out to be a one tremendous skill. I can't believe that Al Orford has gotten better. Valley is young with the rebound. Siakam going right around. And now Barnes with the ball. Back to Siakam for three. Tries it across. And this one is turning into be a four. Four trailing. Four point trail. White. Right to Tatum. Back it over to Slurk. Now he goes right back to White. Over overhead pass by Smart. Two points. Smart. No good on the two. Van Bleek in the attack. Frank Jr. for three. That's another three-pointer here, and this one is a one-point trail. Ten seconds. White. Here he comes. Foul is on Seattle. Seventeen foul on Toronto. First personal foul. And it's, they stop the clock here at 7.3 seconds. Derek Wright. White. He was almost going to make it that one in time, but that was going to be a foul. And this close on this call can be very tricky. They are shooting another free throw attempts here for Boston Celtics. Only, only two of them had made. First free throw is sent in. And now a new change up here as Boucher will check in for Thaddeus Young. And the second free throw is good. While well playing here for a white, while well playing, he got him better. Great place. Barnes for three. And he will not connect. That ends the first half. It's 30 to 27. We will be right back after this break. Don't go anywhere. We got more coverage underway with you after this. This game is turning out great. Let's have a recap. One more look here of Raptors and Celtics. First half completed with the statistics on the board. That's it for today. Bye bye. And let's get back into the court. And we welcome you back here for the presentation of the NBA playoffs of 2K Sports. It's 30 to 27. Boston in the lead by three. One thing we talked about that Fred Van Vliet has already got made his performance on the run after beating with the Brooklyn Nets. But his next offer is going to be another tricky run for him to try to make the effort to keep close call 
in the contact. But now this will be happen if they're gonna try to make it run, come back alive again and again. Now Trent Jr. finds over Van Bleet as we start the third quarter. Marcus Smart on him. May getting a two and a gain away of good. It's Fred Van Bleet. Fred Van Bleet's not the only man you wanted to get right on him. You don't want him to get sneak him right up forward if you want to get back in there. Brown right to Smart. Over Van Bleet, hooking up a drive for Smart, and he is not done yet. 24.7 average is putting up in 14th in NBA part of the season to the postseason. It's so not well. Very nice on this can turn out to be a well tricky play. Williams right over to Smart. Back and over is Al Horford. Now you will try things here on slop floppy bullshit. Tatum. Three point off range target. And it's now Trent Jr. with the rebound. Finds Van Lee. Back to Trent Jr. Now he moves over to Ananobi. Tatum on him. Back to Ananobi. Just seven to shoot. They need to get a shot before the shot clock expired. And another two point miss by Toronto. Toronto's getting a little bit quite wish wash that way. Not really well at all. Because I am, because I know it is, it's always quite the nice. Not too willing to be expecting what happens to be. Brown, two. Pointer is off the range and it's knocked away. Barnes with the ball. He covers on here for Jalen Brown. And he goes up. Two pointer can't go. It's Brown taking his time with his rebound, and it will go back the other way. Horford with the ball, back to Brown. Tatum outside for three. Doesn't hit that throw. It will be another miss here for, for, the, for the Boston Celtics. Van Bleet on Tatum. And he calls the block on Jason Tatum, his first, and a third team foul reaches out on Boston. Not going to be good at all. Not good at all. It's now going to be very, very hard to make that play come back toward the end. And a hustle move of Robert Williams of Mobile One Block. This play is sending up in, insane. You know, I would have bet that Robert Williams have gotten in mind himself. Probably that might be one way at the same time. Just how amazing it gets. I don't know, beyond Tatum. Back to Van Vliet. Just four to shoot. Junior, deep three. Wow, we checked it away by Brown in time, and he goes right the other way. Great timing on, on Jalen Brown. Got a great start. When the shot clock is signing into expired, this one goes for, uh-uh, that's all mine. William for three. You bet! The three-pointer is being raised up a bit. It's 35 to 29. Van Vliet on Pritchard. Van Vliet can't hit the two-point mark. Tatum finds Vice. Back over to Williams. Back to Pritchard. Pritchard right to Tatum. Back overpass by Feiss. Fade back to Tatum. Feiss over Feiss. Over again. Got it. And that's another two-pointer here for Feiss. And it's six points in the game. 37-29 is your score in the third quarter. Looking very good. All comfortable around here. Van Bleet on Pritchard. Getting another defensive breakdown here. But they won't be hold tight. Achua rejects the screen. And Trent Jr. faces off the finishing drive and it goes back down by six. No, you're not going to be successful for him and you really got to get right into that one point. You don't want to mess things up on your own because if you do, that will be a hard impact to be on you. Over with the screen. 
He finishes off, and it goes short. Achua with the foul, and this will be the first team foul on Toronto. And another, another foul putting up here on a Raptor player, Achua, first personal. Jason Tatum is at the free throw line. He hasn't scored anything yet for his first half. But the second half will be his strength on the free throw line. Good for the first one. And for Jason Tatum, he is stepping in to be the superstar. This next strong move can be for another great time effort. Raptors all change for five positions here, and Brown is checked out. And Derek White is checked in. And good on both for Jason Tatum. It's now 39-31 lead. Toronto trailing by eight. Looking for a pitch screen on Boucher. It will be knocked out. Flynn with the ball. Three-pointer up. And it's off the range. Knock the target down and go the other way. Fights with the ball. Passes off to Tatum. Tatum right back to Williams. Backing over is Pritchard. Right over to Vice. Oh wow, he gets right in there. Vice gets eight points. Six seconds to go. A two up for three. Off target, rebound. And hey, you got that dunk before the third period down. And that will end the third quarter. 41 to 33. One more period to go. Will the Celtics take the two clutch with the with the playoff of the bound? Or the Raptors will tie the series up one. It's coming up. Coming up after the break. All three quarters are definitely in good shape, but now the fourth quarter is the last one to finish it off. This all really gets to be turned out to be just one way or another, but I think the last one is going to be even better. Orford, right to White. As you're all tuning us here for the fourth quarter, we'd like to welcome back here for another part of the NBA playoffs. As we're about to start things off, fueled up and ready to go. White for three, in and out. And we also saw the block here of Chris Brochet with a tremendous block on D. Yeah, that was very tough. With all that happened here, it was nothing that he was going to get there through. Oh, wow, the foul is putting up on White, and Al Horford would have rejected the ball. But it was not enough to get through it. Barnes is at the free throw line, shooting two. Only 423 left to play. Scoring breakdown is not going to be that very tough. And off of the mid-range assist, it was very tough. 34 to 10 on the court. And defense. Barnes makes the first free throw. And talk about the other uh, player that we also have. It's why that Derek White and Al Hoover were trying to uh, keep a connection together after Derek White has translated to the San Antonio Spurs. Robert Williams has checked in for Feist, and all the other players have checked out, except for Barnes. Now he makes a second free throw. It's 41-35. Only 420 remaining by. Tatum going for the attack. Lost the ball, and it's Red Jr. all alone. Well, D on Smart. Siaka over Tatum and he makes it number two. This one is picking up a number two pointer as this one is moving in quick. Fred Van Lee with the assist. Foul is on Siaka. His second personal first to second team foul. This is putting up a number too much pressure here for the Raptors. This is why they really need to get their get their hyped up. And they have to stop where they are going for. It's very tough to get off the angle when you're looking for a man to be open.
Robert Williams hits the first free throw. We're under four minutes left here, and if you're joining us for the third game, here's what the games are coming up. We have is a number one back at the Eastern Conference, as we will have this game to be at the, the other game. We will see is the Memphis Grizzlies and Timberwolves. That will be happening here after the Eastern Conference games in game three. And it will be played here back in Minnesota. After this first game, it will be another one to go by. And then we'll face off with the layup is Siaka. Now White finds over Shannon. Smart over the Tatum. Count the bucket and one. Lawrence has received the foul, and they will head to the free throw line to shoot one. The rising player is turning out to be just like him. But that was you need to know where it gets things better. Wow, Jason Tatum is just on fire today in game two. He is looking for a chance to make the three win streak. If he can try to do things again, it might be a good idea. And Tatum is delivering the pressure on the board. And just like I've said here before, it will be the Bulls and Sixers here for the first game. Then Grizzlies at Minnesota against the Timberwolves. And then we will stick around with other games like the Celtics and the Raptors. Also along with the other team of Dallas Mavericks and Jazz. And there will be more underway here for the first round to get back. Off target range, finds Barnes, shots up, rebound, has to see Oh, he tipped the ball! And the Raptors will have it alive with 3 or 2 left. The last block was turned out to be Williams to make the shot block. Now Jalen Brown will check in for Derek White. Derek White, well played, deserved. Trent Jr. around, over Robert Williams, a rebound is off. And it goes back the other way. Now he finds Horford. Tata back to Horford. Trying to work his way on the run, and now he is full. Change up the place. Find Smart. Finding Brown. Over Brown. Now we're Smart. Kanobi. This will be a number two for Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown got very good. Interesting run of his play, it gets things very bad. And a miss by Toronto. It's 47 to 30, 39, as this will now be a double playoff to be in the bound. Trailing by eight. Rejected away by Siakam. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. And here he comes, Barnes. Barnes can't handle the shot. Tatum to Brown. And now it's 49 point, 45 point nine in the rebounding percentage. Smart. Oh, got lucky out there. Bounce pass to Williams. And he gets a good go. Robert Williams gets seven points. And they are extending it up by 10. Siakam on Robert Williams. In the corner, going in the paint, up and over again, it's a bad pass on Toronto. Wow, that was very tough. Even I can't remember how this all happened. Well, if you're expecting me how this will be happening here, yeah? I never know that it was going to be very wide off tug. Williams can't hit the two. Siaka, right to Barnes. We're down the last minute left in the fourth quarter. All fans are rising together. Rebound up, and a take back run is Ananobi. Ananobi has another two, and they are back down by eight. They're really looking for another one. They really got to get back into it. Horford back to Smart. Right back to Tatum. Back to Tatum. Back to Horford. Their Boston moving around free, and Robert Williams gets knacked it up. Van Bleek in the Everlane. 
Finding look over and pinch. No good. It's Brown with the rebound. 20 seconds to play in the regulation. Horford right to Williams. Brown outside. 10 seconds left. Brown can't make it. Last possession for Toronto. Trent Jr. up. And that's it. There are final scores, 49 to 41. Celtics wins two in a row in the series of the NBA playoffs. What a hustling. They've really got a great solution out there. It's the best play that you ever get. Now to close things off, here's Ali LaForce at the sideline. Ali. With you guys being such a young team, how do you continue to improve to reach your potential? All right, Allie, thank you very much. And with all fans being too loud, I think the Celtics will be playing at Toronto for the next four weeks after we finish the break. That is true. And I hope you all enjoyed your first part here of the United Nations Sandy Invitational. If you haven't guessed that one, the calling card is head of the day. Now let's present the three star players of the game. Son of Beast, let's take you here first. All right, so I will start things off. Number three is going to happen with Woe's players. It wasn't anybody's game. It was their game. Jalen Brown had received one dunk, seven points, four rebounds, and just four assists. One block action here turned out to be almost a shot clock violation, and he had it all. Just like that before, he just got it. Let's take your take here, number two, Silver Spoon. All right, I will to go ahead and take a moment to make a same thing go by. This one goes out to Daniel Face. We have the same thing too. One block, one rebound, one assist, and eight points in the game. Just got better. But only a couple clips were being shown. Let's take you off to Mifo. Number one, please. I will take the number one, and that will be Fred Van Vliet. Only turned out to be nine points, one rebound, four assists, and just only two turnovers that wasn't able to pick him up with a bit. But that is all I have. I hope you all enjoyed here for the second game of the NBA playoffs. Stay tuned for the third game, as this will be a relocation here from the uh, top seeds to the low seeds here for their location here as well. It will be Warriors at Nuggets, then it will be Sixers at Bulls, then Heat at Nets, of course this one, Celtics at Raptors, then we have is the Grizzlies at Minnesota playing against Timberwolves, of course the Suns against the Pelicans at New Orleans, then we also have just gotten better into a solution here from the players of two to be on the ever same lookout experience. There aren't any just enough to get their information right back on the target. Bucks at Cleveland. It was all they had when there is any choices to try to stop them right on the boards. And Utah at home played against Mavericks. So thank you all for watching. As for me, Silver Spoon and Son of Beast, this has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs on NBA 2K22. You can check out the last game that we have commentated here before and check out the best highlights here ever. So that is it for me. Peace out everyone for as a while as the NBA playoffs of NBA 2K22. Have a good night in Boston of the Massachusetts in the Boston Bleed Green Zone and for Toronto Raptors of the Canada as well. Until next time, folks, I'm out. See you all next time.